Hi, Collective. Welcome and welcome back. See Your Soul 3 Revolution with me, please. This is going to be a general message for the Collective. Collective, we're going to take a peek and see what your energy is right now. We're also going to see what energies are coming in for you, like what to expect, and any other messages that Spirit wants to um, make you aware of. I will also make you aware of any story, all the storylines that are coming in and um, any channeled messages that I get. Right off the bat, they're showing me pictures right now of um, like a covered bridge over like water, like a road, um, bridge, water, <laughs> and um, it's nighttime. So that might be of significance to someone. They're also showing me the color yellow. Um, I'm also seeing a rainbow and a ladybug. So that might be of significance to someone. Okay. Show me, Spirit, what is the collective's energy right now in all the ways, their general energy? Two of Wands, why? What are they burdened by? Okay, so right now, your current energy, right now, it's the Two of Wands. You're, me you're like in this, you're making a decision on something. You're um, splitting off in two ways. Closing out something and going somewhere else, um, like whether that's energetically, um, psychologically, emotionally, physically, right? Literally, you are shutting something. Um, you're shutting something down that is burdening you. You're just figuring out what how to go to where you need to go. It's like, oh, I'm all done with this. I'm doing this now, and you're just figuring out the actual movements to it. Your spirit's had enough. Some of you could be a fire sign. Specifically, out I have um, Aries and Leo, or you could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but doesn't you don't have to be. When I asked the Two of Wands for your energy, and then I asked, um, like, why? Because you're 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 done with something. It's just like, eh, this isn't for me. Like, and what I love seeing with the fire energy out here too. This is a very um, like easygoing, happy-go-lucky, like I'm just going through life and oop, I stumbled upon this and this seemed cool for a little bit, but now nah, I'm not doing that. Um, now I'm going to do this instead. It's like that, like you've always been going on your path, but you stopped to do something and realize, nah, this is not for me. And now you're moving a different way because like all, because you saw like, ew, no, yucky, People with yucky energy, no, some noun, person, place, or thing. There was something that wasn't for you. Because why? When I asked why, um, there was an imbalance in something that you aim to make balanced. Uh, it's like that, right? I'm hearing um, if you can't add more good than I can obtain on my lonely, I am all the way good. It's like that. Now you take it how it resonates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King of Pentacles, you are all the way good. <laughs> if it irks my soul, it's got to go. Yeah, yeah, you're making boss moves too. There's more earth energy, which is more, um, I see this in uh, physical, like it's, it's happening on earth in 3D time. It's not spiritual. It's not in tarot time. It's not emotional, It's right? It's not mental. It's happening here, right? There's... Um, you are aiming, oh, some of you are moving into a different career too or doing something, uh, maybe you're going back to school, maybe you got a raise, maybe you're, you're something like that that's bringing you more money because something wasn't working, um, right? It's like that and, and you made a boss move. Others of you, this is um, simply saying what I, what I picked up on in the beginning, which is, yeah, I'm happy-go-lucky, just trucking on in life. Ooh, this seems cool. This is interesting. Ooh, yeah, I don't like what I see. Yikes, that just brings burdens. And ooh, no thank you. Irks my soul. Gotta go. That's not like balance. That's not me. I gotta, and then you're like off back balancing, like dropping something to, and then it's like you're making money while you're doing it. You're also, this is also, um, yeah, there's money. Oh, like you're making money in a career or a side hustle, something like that.
you're making um, also your it's like um, you're coming out in an, in a new way as well um, this is like all your goods let's say right king of Pentacles all your goods are in there but like you may not look like a king but you are right people don't know what's inside this box it's all precious metals and like gems and gold and silver it's all the good stuff right something about you may not look the part but that's okay right like it's something like that some of you may also um have some it might have there's some kind of kinship with nature i'm seeing that some of you could associate as a green witch or um an earth angel i'm seeing that's just some side note that's just a channel uh, from there Okay, Spirit, um, is there any other messages with regards to this for this collective? You made a good choice because you are avoiding a disaster by choosing to cut off what you are to move away from whatever you're moving away from you like yikes this is why time reveals true nature always in every aspect right family friends business finance career lovers however it's life right so it's like take your time go slow and you did and you saw something early on that you didn't care for you're avoiding a disaster um and I'm also getting an emphasis on turning pain into power. And um, some of you might be writing a book or something like that. Others of you, um, that's one message. Others of you, um, you were going on your merry way in life. Something seemed interesting. You're like, I'll check this out. Oh, you saw some red flags earlier on because you're highly intuitive, period. And you're like stealthily like, yikes, that's not for me. Let me go back what I'm doing because um, I like balance in my life and it's about making money too, something about that. Um, and you're avoiding a disaster. So me avoiding a betrayal, avoiding a disaster by, and you're going solo. Something like maybe somebody wanted to fuck you over and um, they can't now, something like that. It doesn't have to be. Um, and how do I mean that? I mean, it could be a minute fuck over, like, you know, you not being paid what you're worth in, um, at work, right? Um, and it could be a severe, if this was personal, it could have been a severe fuck over that you're avoiding, right? Or, or averting because you saw red flags. I don't really know. It's going to be different for everyone, but you're like, your spirit is like totally miss me with that shit. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of money though, too. Um, it's also talking about listening to yourself. Yeah. Look, now we have the king of swords. Whoa. Listening to yourself. Okay, listening to yourself because I saw the grasshopper reminded me of Jiminy Cricket, the conscience to Pinocchio, right? But not that you don't have a conscience, it's just where I, what I, how I associated it. Then the King of Swords popped out. Well, conscience, right? But the King of Swords too, um, logic and reason. There, you're listening to yourself, your higher self. You're listening to your own logic, your own reason. Your um, um listening to your inner voice as you move through life like that you um are this is just beautiful because it's showing a huge progression of like it, i just get a carefree vibe right and it's like um you have a healthy like some sort of it's like detachment of some sorts as you surf through life and like you you putting yourself out there, trying new things, doing different things, following your dreams, right? Like all these things, right? Some of you are parents too, right? Um, and your kids are in, in school and you have like the home life and the social life. It's a balancing act, you know, home life, mom, dad, social, um, business, career, right? Like hobbies, things like that. Or, um, but you've learned so much on this journey and it's like you're using you're not afraid to live life right and take risks but they're calculated risks and you give enough rope so people can hang themselves or situations can hang themselves if something and how i mean that is when something isn't for you it doesn't matter how minute 
or how extreme, right? It is. It's just not for you. But you have such a level of discernment where you see things so early on, intuition and discernment, that you it's like you are trusting to move with how you're being led, divinely led. And it's working because you're averting things and hopping into more success, happiness, financial uh, abundance. We don't just fall into that, guys, right? You're falling into it because you're traveling that way. You're putting in the work. So you're running into it, not falling into it. You're running into it, right? You're just um, not allowing you to get to the point where you have to cut dead weight you're just cutting it off before you like nah i see it from jump yikes right um this is really beautiful too you're trusting yourself a lot more than maybe you have in a long long time you know maybe some of you were people pleasers before or um fixers you know um things like that but you've learned great lessons and you're applying it, and it's bringing financial success because you're going after what you want, but it's also bringing such peace and happiness. You're really surfing the wave, living life as it's meant to be. Final thoughts for the collective. It's okay to be judgmental sometimes. It's okay. Um, you got judgment and strength with the four of wands. How do I mean it's okay to be judgmental? Um, it's okay to judge nouns, people, places, and things. Um, as in, they're, this is good for me, this is not good for me. It's, it's how you figure out what works for you, for your life, how you want to live your life, and how the and everything else are pieces, like chess pieces in a sense, right? Um, you know, and how does this work for me? It's being selflessly selfish, um, but some of you might not be used to um, being judgmental because maybe you were so accepting of people before, places, things, situations, so understanding, but you've learned. Just because I can understand it and explain it, that doesn't mean I'm cool with it and that doesn't make it okay, right? Like, um, it, it, whether this is a new job or, um, you know, or you're renegotiating um, terms for a contract or if this is, you know, your social life, who you're allowing in your circle, right? Or family, right? It, it, it's you're living life your way and there's nothing wrong with that because you are a person, you are people of integrity, of compassion, of empathy, of love, of honor, of you know, high quality and high value. And um, you don't need to feel like um, that you have to sacrifice your needs and wants to cater to others. Um, and I, it's like you're, you've learned this lesson, but it's applying it now, right? It seems weird at first. It feels weird at first is what I mean, because we're not used to putting up boundaries. We're not used to speaking on what we want. And, um, you know, maybe that assertively in all areas, right? It's something like that. There's like a new way of being. Who's here? I just heard Michelle, Shelly, Sherry, Shauna, Sharon, and I'm seeing the word Sierra, S-I-E-R-R-A. Stand strong in your convictions too, yeah. You're just living life and you're feeling yourself and, and life is going the way that you want because you're creating the, the slice of life that you want. And it's okay to judge others because um, it, you're not judging them by, it's not like you're, you're talking shit or um, you're um, creating any drama or anything like that. Like for whatever reason, because I'm getting those, those thoughts, those feelings of um, like some of you almost feel guilty or something. No, no, no. You know, compassion is um, good. Sympathy is not. We don't sympathize with people, with nouns, people, places, things that aren't good for us. We can have compassion for it as we move on our merry way. 
but we don't sympathize with it because that's how we can get our emotions caught up into feeling bad about judging people. But what you're not judging people. What you're actually judging is their character, how they hold themselves. What standards of morality, how ethical are they, right? Like, um, how do you move? How do you roll? And then you decide if those um, align with you. And if it, you know, irks your soul, it's got to go. And if it doesn't align, see you later, bye. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're just maybe not used to it, that's what I'm seeing. So what I'm seeing is people that needed to judge more because hell to the yeah. Why we can have compassion for the unevolved without allowing the unevolved or the devolved back into our space or into our space. We're evolved. We don't want the devolved around us, and I don't want the un we don't want the unevolved around us, right? In any capacity. But only you know for yourself what level, if any, of that you can um, accept or allow in, because you know we make room for a certain amount in life, right? But there's limits to everything, and there's some of you that are like, nah, everything's changed, and I'm glad. And I'm here to say that the advice, the final thoughts are if you're being selflessly selfish and you're going after what you want, there's nothing wrong with that. You're running into it too. So there's more financial abundance. I see here a contract. I see here a promotion, new job, something like that, right? But I also see um, friendships, community, um, partnerships, relationships on a many different levels, just kind of excelling, branching out, right? Um, and these are, it's like what's coming in for you, the energy that's coming in for you is, um, you know, those on your level, yes, but you're going to get those that are not on your level too. And you have to discern and you're going to quick. And because of this, you're running into more good stuff. It's like the, the good gets great, great gets excellent, right? It's like that. What's the most prominent energy coming in for them? Nice, the Hierophant, yeah, you. The Hierophant energy, meaning the energy that's coming in um, that's most prominent is it's the Hierophant, which is like, um, well, it's the Fool's Journey. starts as the Fool, ends at the Hierophant. The student becomes the master, right? This is um, highly evolved. This is like Christ consciousness in a sense, right? This is uh, like Buddhism in a sense, right? Um, this is, you know understanding human behavior, understanding life, understanding the lessons in life from a spiritual level, but also like literally too on earth, right? Like you just, what's coming in is you. Your higher self is walking with your conscious self and you're aware of it at all times. That's awesome. That's what's coming in. You. That's what I have for you guys today, tonight. I hope that this reading resonated. Please let me know if it did resonate. Hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, comment, share, and follow, depending on what social media platform you're watching this on. I only have one Facebook active, one TikTok, one YouTube, and one Insta, Seer Soul 3 Revolution. Check me out. And that's what I have for you guys. I will talk to you later. Yeah, you got this. It was a hierophant again, but uh, you got this, guys. All right, I love you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.